Oh, Megan. Megan is prowling route. around. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, I think it's fine. Oh, look at that branding. Big Ooh. shout out to Nadia, aka Zuka, aka Wormkin, aka Worm, aka the best damn artist. The best damn artist the UK world Melee has ever, has seen. ever seen. Honestly, maybe Melee in general. Like, if you're running it, you know, we should do this plug later. Yeah, probably. Oh, great crouch cancel. I think one big problem for uh, Pikachu in this matchup, quite easy to tech chase Pikachu with Falco compared to like some other characters. Because mm -hmm. Pikachu's tech rolls are all pretty short. Obviously, there's the thing with the tech in place where it's like two frames less like vulnerability than most characters. Mm -hmm. But if you're like covering that with like a down air or something, it's not really going to matter. Yeah. I really do feel like this is the longest we've seen Frenzy go without losing to a Schlimbo. A Schlimbo? Yeah. Like a Graham? Or like a Chief or a, any, anyone like that. Yeah, I think he's on a bit of a hot streak. Yeah. I think the win against Moth recently at Combos and Cocktails, that may restore some faith Yeah. in man. the institution of Elliot Grossman. And he has been looking like he's been playing really well recently, so mm -hmm. I'm happy to see him here, and I'm excited to watch him beat some people. Omid, kind of just moving around. It's difficult to get the opening sometimes on Frenzy. He is a master of the laser. Yeah. Ooh, kind of feels like taken place. Ah, uh, that's tough. Ooh, doesn't get the grab. That's so unfortunate. Elliot is playing really evasive. It seems like it's very hard for Omir to find a sort of approach route that actually works. Finally, yeah. he gets one there. Uh, oh. Covers high. Oh, and the turnaround. That's tough. They both did like an oh no. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Normally, Omid, like a pretty successful gimper. He's made a career out of it. I do. Okay, this this is 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 the thing that I'm looking at for Pikachu's. How often are they doing cross up there on shield, and how often is it getting punished? And do they like change anything in response? To yeah, that? I feel like part of the problem is that Omid hasn't actually been spaced to get the cross up there in a yeah. way. It's like he's constantly having to approach from too far away. So there's like he's not really threatening it because when you get the cross up there, and like the Falco isn't hitting like a shine out of the shield or something, it means that you could do like a uh, rising up air behind the shield. Yes. Or go for grab, which is like quite a good mix-up in this matchup. Um, but it's just not. Pikachu happening. off the top? No. Yeah, I think Frenzy was a little too high. Uh, low percent, sorry. Ooh, that shield grab just on like the drop through there. Okay, only putting it together a bit. Yeah. Yes, this. Th I think this is promising for game two, even if. Yeah, because might be a little bit German now. Yeah, the start of the game is like horrible. He was not getting many openings. But also, okay, good <laughs> recovery. Bomber used to say that like back throwing was the same as wobbling. <laughs> <laughs> like I forgot about that. Oh my word, it is not the same. It's not the same. <laughs> I think against Spaceys, that is like not even close to the same. You get one grab for a guaranteed kill. I don't know what you're talking about. Shut up. <laughs> um. Why, why do you why do you think we like Fod in this matchup so much? As um, I think Omid's been having a bit of trouble, like getting in a close range to Frenzy, mm -hmm. uh, but it still keeps that triplat layout. So it's good for getting to move around. Um, mm -hmm. I think having the low lasso be quite so low is quite good for Pikachu because Pikachu's got quite a long recovery. Yeah. A little interaction that I wanted to point out because I'm, I'm I'm doing my uh, trying to be a little bit more analytical. Oh, okay. Here we go. Frenzy, Omid was on the ledge, and Frenzy just crouched by the ledge. Omid did an up air from the ledge in an attempt to just reverse the situation, and it just got crouch cancelled and punished. Uh, Pikachu's love doing up air from ledge because the hitbox is going to send them backwards. When yeah, they do it, and it's just such a cheeky way. It's to a get good. A, it's a good cheese spot, basically, yeah. but. Didn't work out for Omid there. Again, it seems like maybe Omid isn't like playing direct enough, if that makes sense. It feels like he's waste kind of almost wasting time trying to go around platforms when like there, like Frenzy is just dash dancing. He's not like putting out lasers to sort of narrow down that like horizontal plane. So I don't know, maybe Omid can afford to like just sort of 
jump in a bit more. Not necessarily all the way with like an aerial, but like get a bit closer through just like horizontal movement. Oh, back throw. Ooh. Okay. Great. Great little up the angle. I don't know how that works, yeah. but let's say. I think he was a little slow to get the uh, down B there. Okay. Scary spot for Frenzy, but he manages to get down. Okay, that should be yeah. that. I love Pikachu players, the fact that they just have all, like, you have to do like a week or more of grinding up the angles to be able to play the character at all. And then when they get it, they just do it. Like, I've seen Okami between stocks just like up B to ledge for fun. Yeah. <laughs> Despite the fact that like, if you fuck it up, you just die. It's the same as people ledge stashing when they're like between stocks or something. It's scary. Yeah, I think that was... It kind of just like yeah. looked like Omi had never really got started. The, the, there was a great understanding of how to edge guard Pikachu from Frenzy there. We didn't really talk yeah. about it, but the lasers on where the up B is going to end up because there's yeah. hurtbox distorts and stuff like that. So if you're a Falco player,